General, I'm on Tatooine. Has Master Kuix reported in? As we heard, Kuix secured our weapons research facility. She's missed every comm check since then. Enemy action is the most likely scenario, but on Tatooine, anything's possible. If it's so dangerous, why pick it for your weapons facility? Tatooine has millions of uninhabited kilometers. Perfect for our research. Dr. Godera will brief you on the weapons project. Doctor? The research facility on Tatooine has created a device codenamed the Shock Drum. The weapon discharges massive ultrasonic vibrations into the ground. It damages enemy fortifications at a microscopic level, quite literally softening them up. The vibrations will cripple people if they're close enough. But that's not all. The shock drum eventually disrupts the planetary core. At critical mass, the core explodes. Are you planning to destroy Tatooine? Of course not. When we discovered this potential, we immediately stopped testing. However, there's a fully operational shock drum prototype at our facility. If Darth Angrel has captured it, the results will be catastrophic. With no word from the facility or Master Kuix, we must assume the worst. I sense Master Kuix through the Force, but it's faint. I think she's dying. Can you feel her surroundings? Where is she? Not sure. Somewhere dark. It's taking everything she has to stay alive. I don't have any Republic contacts there to assist you. You're on your own. Our facility is located in a remote part of the desert. I'm transmitting the coordinates. Good luck. Marsuthra, out. Good eye. Seabrick, I told you help would come. We'd almost given up hope. Thank you for saving our little family. You're not actually related. Not all families are bound by genetics. Ours was formed by circumstance. Have you come to protect the shock drum, like Master Kawix? What happened to her? She defended us against Imperial soldiers led by a Sith. She fought bravely, but the Sith was stronger. I take it the Sith killed her then? I assumed he was going to kill us all. Instead, he captured Master Kawix alive and ignored us. The Sith destroyed your droids, but he didn't harm us. He said we were no threat, and that we didn't deserve to die. I've never known a Sith to show mercy. It was almost like the idea of killing us insulted him. He wasn't kind, but I certainly wouldn't describe him as cruel. The Sith and his soldiers took Master Kowix and the Shock Drum prototype into the desert. Brick and I were attempting to restore power to this facility and track them down when the Sand People attacked. <laughs> Why would sand people want a research base? This facility can pick up the shock drum's locator beacon, but not until we restore power. The Sith knocked out all our generators during his attack. If you reactivate them, we can find him, Master Kawix, and the shock drum. The power is back online. I'm afraid that's the only good news I have. Just detected the shock drum's locator beacon. The weapon has been activated. If we don't shut it down, the device will soon reach critical mass. When it does, Tatooine's core will explode. Why isn't the Sith deploying the shock drum someplace populated like Coruscant? Tatooine may not be a core world, but there are still many innocent lives in danger. Pinpointing the shock drum's exact location from here is impossible. The seismic vibrations disrupt our sensors. The general region is thousands of square kilometers. We have to narrow it down somehow. Rick, that's brilliant! The ultrasonic scanners, of course! Whatever you're talking about, we need to find the shock drum fast. 
Ultrasonic scanners placed in a wide pattern will triangulate the shock drum's seismic disturbances. They'll reveal its location. Installing the scanners is extremely dangerous. The desert region is deadly. Ideally, we'd send an army. Your droids won't be ready soon enough, Brick. This Jedi is our only hope. I feel Master Kuwix reaching out to me. Something terrible is happening to her. At least we know she's still alive. She doesn't have long. Take the ultrasonic scanners. Place them at these map coordinates. We'll contact you by hollow once we've triangulated the shock drum's location. It's Good the luck. scanners. Do you have a fix on the shock drum? Collating the scanner readings now. Ah, oh, no wonder the sensors couldn't find it. It's beneath an abandoned mining complex. I'm sending the coordinates and the shock drum's deactivation code. Everything depends on you now, but we'll be here if you need us. If I fail, Tatooine gets destroyed. You don't want to be here for that. I'll do respect, Master Jedi. If this planet and its people die, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Hope to see you again. Heron out. Greetings, Jedi. I am Lord Praven. My master seeks retribution for his son's death. I must give it to him. Get in line, Sith. I have a planet to save. If you wish to stop this world's destruction, you must face me. When my master learned you were here, he demanded I activate the shock drum. You'll destroy this entire world. I know you've located the weapon, but that won't be enough. I changed the deactivation code. Why not let me find out the hard way? What are you after, Lord Praven? My master deserves justice, but there are more noble ways to have it. I will destroy you, personally. Come, face me. If I win, I've done my duty. If you win, you'll have the new code. Whatever the outcome, we will battle with honor. I await you at these coordinates. I sense your power. Now I understand why Tarnis was no match for you. His death was my failure. I should have trained him better. I've fought Banthas that were deadlier than Tarnas. You insult my honor. Good. That makes me more powerful. I welcome the end of your kind. The Jedi obsession with my people's extermination must end. Your lust for revenge will destroy this galaxy. Whatever you've been told about us, it's a lie. We'd gladly stop fighting if it meant genuine peace. I'd like to believe that, but I know better. Come, let us end this. Die well, Such Jedi. Skill. So much power. Impressive. You could kill me. Why hesitate? You could have killed the scientist and those Jawas at the shock drum facility. But you didn't. They were not warriors. Their deaths would have been pointless. Darth Angrel commanded me to destroy the shock drum code. He wanted you to die in failure no matter the outcome here. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. You've earned better. The code is yours. Why turn against your master? I serve a higher authority than any master. A Jedi wouldn't understand. Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. If Master Kuix is still alive, I will save her. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. If they haven't already, the ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. 
You scum! You should die like that! There is nothing more to say. You won our duel. Finish me. You may serve the Empire, but I won't kill you. You don't deserve it. Then honor demands I surrender to my master. He will do what you cannot. Jedi are taught to see all possibilities. I see one where you live on with honor. Commit yourself to the path of light. Become a Jedi. Me? A Jedi? Impossible. Your order would never accept me. Jedi believe in forgiveness, not hate. Accepting a sworn enemy into one's ranks without fear, that is strength. I accept your offer. I'm too wounded to aid you, but I will surrender to your people. Now hurry, save this planet. Sith changed the deactivation code for the shock drum, but I have the new one. I'm on my way. You're not there yet? Brick and his family are in terrible danger. They followed their droids to the mining complex. I tried to stop them, but they were determined to help you. Brick just sent an emergency hollow. He says there's something called a sand demon at the mine. It's attacking them. The Sith hid your super weapon in the mine without this beast interfering. What changed? I don't know. Maybe the shock drum's vibrations enraged it, it, attracted it there. That beastly predator is the only thing that hunts crate dragons. And those are massive. Brick doesn't stand a chance. Please, you can't let anything happen to Brick and his family. Save them and stop the shock drum. Hurry! I can't sense Master Kuix at all anymore. I'll handle that beast, my friend. Keep your family safe. Did you keep the bunk? Quiet, finally. I can breathe again. I've been down here so long. Shh, Master, let us help you. Kira and Orgus's Padawan. You're both changed. What has happened? All that matters right now is you are safe. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The Force itself became my armor. Sustaining the trance cost me greatly. My strength is a fraction of what it was. Do you need medical attention? The injuries I've sustained can only be healed by time. And meditation. I know you face terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. Rick wasn't exaggerating about the sand demon. I've never seen anything like it. Brick was almost a meal for it. Good thing I got here in time. That's the second time you've saved our little family. Thank you. And let this be a lesson to you, Brick. No more running off pretending to be a hero. My friends, the danger is not yet past. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. You understand the situation best. What should we do? This technology can't fall into the wrong hands again. Let's collapse the cavern network with explosives. What? All that work! The people who died protecting it! Think how many more would have died. The galaxy is better off without such weapons. I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. Master, you've just been through a terrible ordeal. Will you be all right? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. I am still a Jedi. Before we go, you need to know something, and I'd rather you hear it from me. I never told you about my childhood. I'm not who you think I am. So much about you is now clear to me, Kira. But you're wrong about one thing. 
You are exactly who I think. A strong, capable young woman. One day, you'll be a great Jedi. If you could see what she's accomplished, we'd be proud. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. Good news. Master Kiwix and Seismologist Heron are safe. Even better, the shock drum was destroyed. Destroyed? Blast! I wanted to inspect that prototype. Such a promising design. The only thing it promised was to destroy planets. Honestly, I'm relieved it's gone. I've just received a surprising report from one of my cruisers in the area. A pure-blooded Sith Lord named Praven surrendered to it. He mentioned your name. Anything I should know? He was one of Darth Angle's apprentices, but he's joining our side. I promised we wouldn't hurt him. You keep finding new ways to impress me. I'll order my people to hand the Sith over to the Jedi Council. They'll know what to do. Let's hope your mission to Alderaan goes as well as it did here. Our Suthra out. <laughs>